guys, thanks for joining me. Today we are going to be making this really straightforward zipper bag. This is called the Basic Zipper Bag by Parker on the Porch. When you buy this file, you get seven sizes. This is the five by seven size right here. This is what it looks like on the front. This is what it looks like on the back. And then if you open it, this is the enclosed seam version. There is an exposed seam version that you can do with vinyl. We're going to be making this fabric one. This is cotton woven fabric and I will talk about the interfacing later that I use. So this is what we're going to be making. I'm not going to add anything to it. It's going to be really quick and straightforward. So if you're just jumping in and you want to learn how to do in the hoop zipper bags, this tutorial is going to be for you. So let's get started. I have one sheet of cutaway on my 5 by 7 hoop and then I'm going to load my design and I will meet you over at my machine. Okay, I have my design loaded on my machine right here. I'm running a Baby Lock Meridian machine if you're interested in what I'm running. You're going to go ahead and stitch the very first step which is called a placement stitch directly on to your cutaway. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like right here. It went ahead and did the placement stitches right there. And the next step is to go ahead and place our zipper. I'm gonna go ahead and mark off to the side of where the zipper placement is. And then here's the center. Maybe you can, you can see there's the white thread in right there. So you're gonna place your zipper between those two lines, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my zipper. Now, if you place your thing right, your hoop this way, this is gonna be your top front, like that, okay? So if you want your zipper pull on this side, right here, like it's right here, if you want your zipper pull on this side, then you're gonna go ahead and place your zipper with the pull over here. If you want it on the other side, go ahead and place it on this side. It doesn't matter which direction you do it. Um, you need to have a zipper big enough to get past your placement stitches right here where your foot can get all the way around um, the bottom, your stopper, and your zipper pull without it hitting it. So that's how you know you have a big enough zipper. You can have a really long zipper. We're going to cut off the excess later, so that doesn't matter, but you have to have one long enough to get past your placements without your foot of your machine hitting it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to place this between these two stitch lines right here. And then you can go ahead and tape it. I will tape it down just so it stays in place. The next step is going to go ahead and tack this zipper down. So I'm just going to put one right there. Get it exactly where I want it. One right there. I'll show you in one second that we are between. Okay. And bring it up close right there. We are between the stitch lines right there. Okay, so I'm going to bring us back over the machine. The next step is going to go ahead and stitch below your zipper teeth, jumping your zipper teeth, and then stitching above it, tacking your zipper to your stabilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and run that next step, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what we look like right there. It went ahead and tacked down that zipper. You can see the stitch lines. Now what we're gonna do is flip our hoop to the underneath on this side. I'm still gonna write top back here so you can follow along back of hoop, but you always wanna know where the top is of your bag. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the, um, basically the stabilizer out from where your zipper is. I'm going to mark those same two lines so you can kind of see a little better. I probably should have used black thread so you could have seen it in the video a little bit better. But the same place where you put your zipper on the other side, you can see right here you placed it between those lines. We're going to cut that section out right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just take like an applique scissor like this. I'm going to basically just go between it. Oops, I marked the wrong place right here. Cut across. Make sure you're not cutting your zipper from the back all the way over. 
and then I'm just gonna cut across right there. So I'm gonna show you right there. So we basically just cut the open of where our zipper teeth is. So if you open your zipper a little bit, you can see that the hole is right there, okay? So when we turn our bag later, we're gonna turn through that section. So I just wanted to show you that's where we're cutting, okay? There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start measuring our fabric, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you buy any Parker on the Porch design, it comes with a PDF tutorial, and it's usually a picture tutorial, and it step does step by step by step. It also, at the top, tells you what fabric um, dimensions you need for each size. I don't point that out in these videos because it really depends on which size you're making. We're making the five by seven right now, but the way that I do it, I don't, um, use the PDF and if you want to do it um, this way I'm going to show you how to measure off of your placement stitches okay so you're going to need six pieces of fabric you're going to need a bottom you're going to need a top you're going to need um, the back so you have I'm going to show you here you have this top you have this bottom on the front you have the back outside fabric and then you need the three liners so you have the top liner the bottom liner and then the liner that goes over the whole back so you have three liners three outside pieces that's what we need to prep okay and you could tell what size you need to use just by your placement stitches right here so the back's pretty we're going to do the outside first so you need one piece of fabric that goes over all your stitch line placements so i have that one that's big enough to go over the whole um, bag which ends up being your back piece of fabric Okay, you need one that goes from your zipper teeth down to the bottom. So this bottom part, okay, so I have that one right here. It's going to be big enough to go past all those stitch lines. And then you need another outside fabric that goes along the top. And you can see those stitch lines as well from your zipper teeth up. Okay, so I have those three pieces, which are your outside of your bag fabric. Then you need three liners that are exactly the same. Okay, so whatever you cut for this, just cut again for your liner because they're exactly the same measurements, okay? So for your liner, this is just cotton woven fabric. I just went ahead and um, ironed it. And then when you're doing this bag, you need a clean edge right next to your zipper for the liners and the outside. So the way that I prep that, on liners, I just use the fabric. I don't do any interfacing, but for the top and the bottom, I fold over a clean edge. Okay, so you see right here, I went ahead and ironed it, and then I folded it over so I had a clean edge that can go up right next to your zipper. We're gonna do it on the back side, but it goes right next to your zipper. Okay, so you need to do that for the bottom and the top. I did it for both right there. All I did was iron my fabric straight. So now I have those two. And then the one that goes over the whole thing isn't next to a zipper, so you don't need a clean edge. It gets sewn into the bag. So that's just a straight piece, okay? So I have those three liners. Now we do the exact same thing for the outside of the bag. You can see at the top right there, it's folded over, so I got a clean edge, okay? And then I did the bottom with a clean edge right there. See how I fold it over so it can go right up next to the zipper? And then I have one back that goes over the top. The only thing I do different for the outside of my fabric, this is woven as well, I interface it. So I'm gonna show you what I interface with. You can use some different things, but this is what I use right here. Okay, it's Pellin 931TD. This is um, mid-weight fusible interfacing. So the way that you use that, I'm gonna get my piece, I cut a piece for so I could show you. So this is medium weight interfa interfacing that I just showed you. There's a soft, smooth side, and then there's a side that kind of feels rough. That's just basically like glue dots. The way that you do that, pretend this is my fabric since I already ironed mine on, you would take the wrong side of your fabric facing up, so the right side facing down, you would take the rough, glue dot side, put it on the wrong side of your fabric, the right size, like this isn't the right size, but if it is the right size, and then you would iron it. So the rough 
side of your interfacing goes on the wrong side of your fabric. I normally flip it over like this and then just iron it on. What it does is just adhere to your fabric, making your fabric a little thicker. That's what the interfacing is doing, okay? So you would just iron it on and then it would glue together like this. So this is part of my fabric now. It just made my fabric thicker. Okay, so I use that on the three outside pieces of my bag. I do not use it for the liner. Okay, so once all your fabric is all prepped, we're gonna go back to the machine and we're gonna start running the bag. So the first thing to go down is the front to bottom. That's gonna be our next step. So you go ahead and take that piece of fabric that you prepped. You're gonna go ahead and place it down like this next to your zipper, okay? And then we're going to go over the machine and I'll show you how we run it. Okay, I'm back on my machine. I have my fabric placed next to my zipper right here. I have the clean edge up here. There's the clean edge right there. If you have fabric that has a direction, say there's a heart, you want to make sure the heart's facing this way down. Okay, because this is the bottom part of your bag. And we're going to go ahead and stitch the next step. It's basically going to just go around this in a square and tack that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that next step. I have my thread white. You will see this thread is a top stitch, so make sure to pick which color thread you would like. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. It went ahead and tacked that bottom part down. Now we're gonna do the top part right here. So you wanna take your same fabric that you prepped. I'm gonna take the clean edge and I'm gonna put it next to the zipper right here, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and run the next step. It's gonna go ahead and stitch all the way around in a rectangle, taking, tacking that down. I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like right here. We have the top, front, and bottom tacked down. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the liner. If you were adding like any stitching to the front of this, if you did a monogram or a name or something, you would run it right now before you put your liner on. The purpose of the liner is to cover up any stitches and designs you put on here. I'm not running through how to do that in this video. This is just a straightforward make the bag tutorial. But if you were gonna go ahead and do that, you would do it right now. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over to the back of our um, hoop. We already did the opening right there, so we're good for that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this bottom liner. That's what's gonna run next. So I'm gonna take my liner piece. I have my clean edge folded over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place it here. If there was a heart here, it would face me. That's how I would place it so it comes out correctly. So you can see that there's a stitch line right here. We're gonna go ahead and place this over the stitch line next, basically next to the zipper teeth. You can see the line of where the zipper teeth opens right here. You're gonna place it right under there. Okay, make sure you're getting past all your placement stitches. And now you're gonna go ahead and tape this because this is underneath your hoop and it will move if you do not. So I'm just gonna tape this down. Okay. This is kind of too long and it's gonna be in my thing. So I'm just gonna trim some of this just to get it out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our machine. Make sure you have this taped down. We're gonna go back to our machine and I'm gonna show you how I double check a couple things. Okay, I'm back on the machine and what we're gonna do next is I look underneath my hoop, like if you just lift it up, to make sure that none of the tape or fabric moved when I put it onto my machine. So just make sure, because sometimes the fabric will move and then it will mess up your liner. So make sure to check that before you run your next step. I'm gonna go ahead and run it and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, it went ahead and ran that step, so it tacked this down, so now it's tacked down. Now we're gonna take the top portion right here, take your clean edge, and you're gonna do the same exact thing up here with the other part. And I'm just gonna place it really close to the zipper teeth. I'm gonna tape it down, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did last time. We're gonna go over to the machine, I'm gonna put it on there. I'm gonna double check to make sure that nothing moved when I put it onto my machine. And I'm gonna run the next step, which is basically gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna go ahead and stitch the square, tacking it to your stabilizer. Okay, I'll come back and show you that. Okay, this is what we look like so far. This is the top of our hoop. This is the underneath, it's all tacked down. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn it over. 
if you were to add hardware to your bag, you always do it before you put the back of your bag onto the front of your bag. At all bags, it doesn't matter which one you're making. If you're adding um, any hardware to your bag, you always do it at the step before you put the back of your bag on the front of your bag, okay? That's where we are. So if you wanted to add like fold over elastic, you would do the loop side like this and then you would put the back of your bag on. So if you wanna add anything, you would add it now around any of your placement stitches. You can put this anywhere. It will get sewn into your bag. If you wanted to do D hooks, you could do them up here. You could do fold over elastic here. You can do it anywhere you want. If you wanna put your own tag here, make sure what you're keeping is on the inside of your bag. If you wanted just like one of your little tags to pop out, you'd put it like maybe right here. Um, I'm not adding anything. I'm just showing you how to do a basic bag, but I wanted to let you know that you always do it now before you put the back of your bag on. The other thing that you always do before you put the back of your bag on to the front is you open your zipper. You have to open your zipper. You have nowhere to turn through if you don't open your zipper. So you always need to open it when you're on this step, okay? So I'm going to take the back of my bag. So if my fabric, my fabric doesn't necessarily matter which direction it's going, but if I had a heart, say hearts were to meet, you put it towards you, hearts facing towards you, then you would flip it this direction, sideways, like this. And then it will be facing the correct direction when it comes out, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, open our zipper, put our fabric down, make sure you're getting past all the placement stitches. Now we're gonna go to the machine and run the next step. It's gonna go all the way around the bag and closing the bag. And I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like here. It went ahead and tacked it all down. So now we're gonna go ahead and flip our hoop over. We're gonna take our other piece of liner. So the right side's facing you. So if there was hearts coming towards me, this is the right side, this is the wrong side. Right side's facing you, heart towards me. You would go ahead and flip it this way to make sure that it goes right. Okay, hearts facing me. Just go ahead and flip it like this, okay? So your right sides are together. I don't have a direction. But, and then you're gonna go ahead and tape it down. And then we're gonna go over to the machine and we're gonna stitch our last step. Make sure it's held down, okay. So when you put it on, make sure to look underneath to make sure none of this moved. And then go ahead and stitch your last stitch. And then I'll come back and show you what we do next. Okay, this is what we look like. There's top, there's the bottom. We are done. So take it off your hoop. I always look on the back. You can see that it left an opening right here. You can see where the stitches start and finish right here. That's where I cut. So I cut at an angle. Cut all the way around without cutting any of your stitches. You're just following your stitch lines back here. This is why you can use a bigger zipper because we cut it off. Any excess off. Okay, and then I turn the other way. I cut across. And then you only need your liner pieces. So your liner are the two things of fabric on either side of the hole. So I fold that over and then I flip it to this side because I can see the stitches all the way across. This side you can't see all the stitches. So I follow this side and I just cut this excess stuff off because we don't need it, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and flip through this hole. So I'm gonna stick my fingers in here. Be kind of careful, you don't wanna tear any of this open but you're basically gonna just pull through this hole. Okay, and then I use this. You might have just like a turning system thing, whatever, whatever you use to poke out your corners, use your corner thing. Don't push too hard because um, you could go right through this fabric. Once you have it all out and nice, then you will see your zipper's already open because we cut that fabric, okay? 
If you didn't open your zipper, then this would all be closed and you wouldn't be able to turn through it. That's why you need that zipper open. Okay, I'm gonna use this tape right here. This is fabric tack tape. Let me see if I can get uh hold on. I'm trying to find the thing to show you what it is. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I'm going to use this fabric tack tape right here. It's just sticky on both sides and it closes your bag up. You could use a ladder stitch. You can use glue. There's also fabric tack glue right here. That's what this looks like to close it. Use whatever way you like to close it. I like to follow the stitch lines right here and I just place this down like so. And then it just tears and then I just make sure it's adhered to it, okay? And then you remove this, make sure your sticky's coming off. There's the sticky. And then, so I know it's good. So then I fold this in. This is why you leave some extra fabric because you sandwich it in here. So I just go ahead and fold it in. I know it's adhered. You get it to the way you want it, okay? Like that, that's how we'd want it. And then you peel up this top right here like that and I just do a little bit at a time and then just sandwich it together okay when you get to the end I pull it out and then I just make sure that's all adhered and you can see that there's no hole anymore it closes it really nicely okay now you go ahead and flip through your zipper hole Just like this. And then I use my turning system to make sure I get these corners nice and then I'll iron it. So I'm going to iron it and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like right here. Super cute, super fast. You open it, completely lined. It turned out really, really cute. I like to add stuff to it, so like a cute little notepad. Just put this in here and then add like a cute little marker and a gift card and you have a complete gift for somebody super cute let me know if you have any questions um down below also if you want to know what supplies and stuff i use their link below also give it a thumbs up if you liked it and it helped you and if you click on the little bell it will notify you of the next tutorial thank you so much i hope you have a great day thanks for sewing with me